Uh, let's return to our top story, Russian missile strikes on several Ukrainian cities, including the capital, Kyiv. It's the first time Kyiv has been targeted in months. Ukraine says 11 people have been killed across the country. Russian President Vladimir Putin said today's widespread strikes are retaliation for Saturday's attack on a key bridge linking mainland Russia with Crimea. With more on this, we can speak to the Ukrainian MP Oleksiy Goncharenko, who's a member of Parliament for Odessa. He joins us from Strasbourg, where he's a member of the Ukrainian delegation to the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Goncharenko, for joining us. So tell us what was targeted today and what was hit in Ukraine, as far as you know. Residential areas, uh, Kyiv University, children playground. So all these objects, which Putin called military targets, uh, that he hit with a highly precise weapon. So that was a deliberate act of killing of civilians, act of terror from Putin. Pedestrian bridge, like you showed, this is a walk away uh, in Kiev, uh, some for tourists, some nice beautiful views to the Dnieper River. So that was attacked by Russia. No one from 11 killed persons is military uh, soldier or officer, no one. So that was a deliberate attack on civilians and act of terror. And uh, Mr. Goncharenko, we've been hearing from correspondents that there is considerable shock because Kyiv, of course, is uh, quite far from the current front line. Is that how you would describe the mood amongst MPs like yourself and the president and his cabinet? No, it's not. Uh... But why? Unfortunately, we are not shocked with anything from February 24. We were shocked the first night. After this, we have all these missile attacks throughout the whole country, even the cities which are far away. Today, not only Kiev was attacked, Lviv, which is in the western part, so the most, uh, the furthest point from the front line possible. Uh, other cities, Kharkiv, Dnipro, and other cities also were attacked. So. Uh, we are not shocked because we know with whom we deal. We know that uh, Putin, uh, because he is too weak to win over Ukrainian army. So he tries to, to cover his weakness to win uh, over Ukraine on the battlefield with these awful attacks. Um, because he is strong enough to kill Ukrainian women and children and civilians. But he is not strong enough to win over us uh, on the battlefield. So we are not shocked at all. We know with whom we do. And uh, Ukrainian special forces are suspected of having carried out that attack on the Crimea bridge. Do you think that the attack on the bridge was an escalation on the part of Ukraine? I mean, you must have known that it would lead to an escalation on the part of Russia. And the scale of these attacks suggests that, doesn't it? No, it, uh, I don't agree with you, because Russia is attacking us constantly every day from February 24, every day. There is no day without attacks. So what is connection with the explosions on Crimean breach? Now, Putin said uh, that it is a kind of revenge, but, you know, when, when a person which uh, kill, is killing Ukrainian people in thousands, from February 24, is speaking about some uh, revenge. It sounds strange. So he started this war, absolutely unjustified. He started this bloodshed. Uh, he continues to occupy our territories. So about what revenge he was speaking, I mean, it's kind of insane. So uh, Russia was attacking us every day before the explosion on the bridge. They continue to do it now. Yes, he wants to show that he is strong enough to, to give some revenge, but uh, it's just propaganda. In reality, he would attack us anyway, whether it would be explosion on the bridge or not. But we will continue to liberate our country, whether Putin likes it or not. So, uh, Mr. Goncharenko, what does all this tell us about the next direction of this war and what it 
what does it do for the psychology of the people of Ukraine? Because, I mean, it seems like no place is safe. There is no safe place from February 24. Again, nothing changed. There were attacks in Lviv, there were attacks in faraway places of Ukraine, so no place is safe in Ukraine. And if Putin would not be stopped, there will be no place safe in Europe uh, in general. So we are fighting and we are doing our job, but certainly we hope that the whole world will help us to stop this tyrant in his imperial war, because this is his colonization war. He just tries to, how he feels it, to take back his colony which he con considers Ukraine to be. Uh, and with the, for this, he is ready to kill thousands and hundreds of thousands. And uh, as a Ukrainian MP yourself, how do you reflect on the way in which Ukrainians in general have reacted? Because, I mean, they seem to display such enormous resilience. And I wonder how you f reflect on that as a collective response to what's been happening. Our best response is to liberate our land, that's all. So I am happy with the, the job which our generals are doing, uh, soldiers and officers, because when the whole world considered Ukraine to be defeated in days, in reality, after seven months of a uh, very fierce and brutal war, Ukraine is taken back, regaining the ground. And... Uh, this is something, a symbol of courage uh, and professionalism of our army, which I'm absolutely proud of. Well, I want to thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us uh, this evening. Uh, Alexei Goncharenko is a member of parliament uh, for Odessa. He's a Ukrainian MP and he was talking to me there from Strasbourg, where he's a member of the Ukrainian delegation to the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council on Europe.